In this lesson, we are going to talk about conditional connectives. Let's look at the following statement. If today is Sunday, then I don't have to go to work today. Today is Sunday, therefore I don't have to go to work today. Using P and Q, the statement becomes if P, then Q. P, therefore Q. If we use the logical connective for implies the arrow, we have P implies Q, P implies Q, P, therefore Q. Recall that the truth table for P implies Q implies that if P is true, when Q is true, then P implies Q is also true. In fact, it's only when P is true and Q is false that P implies Q is false. We can see that with the truth table here. We have A implies B over here with our truth table. And we have true, false, true, and true. But the false only occurs when A is true and B is false. I want you to note in that final column of this next illustration, we have the same truth values as A implies B. That means that these two statements are equal. But we have not A or B, we have true, false, true, true. The same as what we had before, but we had A implies B. Here, we have true, false, true, and true. So we can conclude that A implies B is the same or similar to not A or B, or keep with the theme of the previous note, P implies Q is the same or equivalent to not P or Q. We can see this with a simple statement. Let P be the statement walking into oncoming traffic and Q be the statement you will get hit by a bus. Thus, not P or Q states you will not walk into oncoming traffic or you will get hit by a bus. And P implies Q states that if you walk into oncoming traffic, then you will get hit by a bus. Now, uh, the same message, it's the same message, but it's spoken differently. And so we have these conditional laws based upon that concept. But we have P implies Q is similar to, or the same thing as not P or Q, and P implies Q is the same thing as not P, the quantity, not P and not Q. But I need you to note the rule of validity still applies to the argument. For P implies Q, P, therefore, Q. So it's a valid argument when it's uh, followed the P implies Q definition. So this is our definition of the contrapositive. P implies Q is not Q implies not P. So this is the contrapositive of P implies Q. And the two statements are equivalent. So if Sam can jump high enough, then he can dump. This is P implies Q. If Sam can jump high enough, then he can dunk. Then the contrapositive is if Sam cannot dunk, then he cannot jump high enough. Note that P implies Q is called a conditional statement and P implies Q if and only if Q or P if and only if Q is called the biconditional. So let me repeat that because there might be some confusion there. This is saying P implies Q. This is saying P if and only if Q. So what it is is going both ways. You have the arrow from P to Q. P implies Q. Also saying that Q implies P. This is the biconditional. And that's all I have for you in this lesson. I will talk to you all later.